The distance from California to Japan is 5,400 miles. Just a quick glance at my analytics would tell me that most of you that are watching this video right now are in the United States. So here we have a group of people that are interested in going to Japan, but simply cannot just get up and go fly to Japan, at least for right now. So the question remains, where would give us the best shot of experiencing not only the Japanese culture, but having some of the best manga buying adventuring in the United States? Well. And welcome to Little Tokyo. Oh my God. What is it called? Hmm? What is it called? That one? Beijing Mom? What the f Okay, so welcome to today's video. We just got our coffee and we are in the heart of Little Tokyo here in Los Angeles. We're gonna be going to an anime jungle, a book off, and a Kino Kunya. And at the end of the video, we're gonna compare two book off locations. So we're gonna jump on the freeway and take you to yet another book off. So that's four manga shopping adventures in total. So this is the part of the store where you're gonna see multiple different shops here. So right over here, we're gonna have something for the Funko Pops and figures. Over here is Gacha Machines. And I'll take you later on in the video to show you the official Bandai Gachapon store that just opened up. Over here we have the ones for Gunpla and Gundams and cosplay. That's all gonna be over on the right hand side. Uh, and on the left hand side we have World 82 which is a phenomenal retro gaming store. But we're not here for any of that. We are here for Anime Jungle. This is one of my favorite manga stores in Los Angeles. Okay, so welcome to Anime Jungle. Now this is a kind of a big manga section for the size of this store. It's gonna start right here, everything all right here, all the way towards the end, right over there. You're gonna have this shelf right here, and then all of this, uh, and this is where the light novels start, sort of start to begin uh, between these two shelves. I will say though, things are a bit, they're, they're jam-packed in tight, uh, which is fine, but it just reminds me of shopping like in a, it feels like I'm going to someone's house and looking at their collection. This feels like Ikea stuff. Uh, and it's cool, it gives it like a nice cozy vibe. Okay, I call this Anime Jungle, but really this is a branch of Jungle Special Collectors, which first opened up in Osaka, 1995. Now, after doing so well in Japan, fast forward to 2001, we have these shops here in Little Tokyo, here in Los Angeles, and it's absolutely amazing to have these in Southern California. Anime Jungle truly offers a different experience as opposed to some of the bigger retail stores that you might be able to find around here, like a Kino Kunya or a Barnes Noble. And I don't know if it's the layout of the store or the inventory that they have here, the manga selection that they have here or the staff. It just, it's giving off exploring the streets of Tokyo, but it's a hybrid experience because I'm in the middle of downtown Los Angeles. It's amazing. <laughs> Do I walk away with peak? <laughs> What's peak? One day I will collect the manga for Spice and Wolf, but today is not that day. They don't have volume one, but I do want to start getting the manga. Although I'm light novel only right now, I do want to get the manga eventually. I can't believe this exists though. It's a D. Gray Man art book. Are you kidding me? People are telling me to read Witch Hat Atelier on Twitter and I'm like, believe me, I've read it. Yeah, you have. It's not every day that you see, oh, they're packed in there. It's not every day that you see these Knights of Sidonia singles. It's really not every day that you see this. How much is this? They even have box sets here. And they're putting together much like Book Off, like these, they're like box sets, but not box sets as well. So they have Demon Slayer, Attack on Titan, Akira, Dragon Ball, all over there.
So we've explored the store, you've learned a little bit about the history, so let's dive into the pros and cons about shopping here. Okay, let's start with some of the things you might interpret as negative. And they have the whole Kino Kunya thing going on here. So all of the volumes here, every single manga volume is wrapped. So you can go ahead and read the back, but you can't open it or flip through any of the volumes. Another thing to note is, well, Parking, and this can apply for all of the shops we'll talk about today, except for the very last one that we'll visit at the end of the video. This is downtown Los Angeles. So if you're coming during peak traffic hours or like over the summer at one point, be prepared to find parking. And that in and of itself could be a mission. But with all of that being said, this store does a lot of things right. First and foremost, this offers an experience. This is not like shopping at like your Barnes and Noble, your Books a Million, your Kino Kunya. This is its own thing and it's wonderful. The staff are so knowledgeable and so friendly here. It really does just add to the atmosphere. They also sell manga on clearance. So it's buy three for $10 and what they have in that stock is always changing of course. At the end of the day, I highly recommend checking out Anime Jungle and because of the unique manga selection that they have here, you never know what you're gonna find. Is it just me? So if you're standing at the entrance of the Little Tokyo Mall here, Anime Jungle is back there and to the left and Book Off is just across the street and we're gonna hang a right and it's gonna be right over here. This scared me, that scared me so much. It's right here. And it's literally like, I mean, it is right across the street from where we were going. Let's see where the entrance is for this place. That's right here. Okay, this is a brand new Book Off location for me. So let's see what they have. Oh wow, okay, so it starts here. This is where the manga section starts. And it goes, oh my god, this is so unique. It goes all, all of this, starts here, and goes all the way. Now this is, this is great. All the way over here. Here. <laughs> and then it gives you one more little shelf here. So right here, well, not little, but all of this, all of this. And is it on the other side? No, not so. This is the final part of the manga section. They have the Evangelion stuff. I've honestly been thinking about getting these. I really want to get this, but I'm probably going to watch the anime before committing to buying anything like this expensive. So if you've been watching the vlogs for a while, you would know that we are no strangers to book off here on the channel. We've been to almost every single book off location in Southern California, except for this one. And the reason why is because this is a brand new book off location right in the heart of Little Tokyo. What do you got over there? Oh, uh, nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Let's continue on. Oh, I just got all of this, but as light novels. Okay, so this is by far the only book off I've ever been to that's recently opened. And you can tell that they're just now starting to buy manga. A lot of the stuff that you're seeing here on the shelves, you can definitely tell is new. So I can't wait, let's say 12 months from now, once they've really established themselves here in this little corner, because this once again is a brand new book off that what the used manga they'll have here. Because that's what I've always said a thousand times, the strongest selling points for book offs are the used manga the stuff that you'll never know you're gonna find this is great i can't believe this is right across the street from like the mall this is great they have girls last tour dude look at this kodansha release this looks like just like a little i love the spine of this i don't know anything about the series but i love that spine that's really cool that's very cool yeah it just looks so like novel-ish bookish old school bookish discord just oh they even have some box sets so come check over here this is a great selection of boxes. So you have Cells at Work, uh, One Piece Naruto, and Akira. Now I know what you might be thinking, like Boogie, that's not that many boxes. But keep in mind for the size of this store, it's not just solely a manga shop. And you're gonna see in just a second because we'll show it to you. And then also at the end of this video, reminder, we're gonna compare this book off location to another more established book off location. So we'll be able to compare the two. Oh, they have Days on Fez. I always recommend this to people who like uh, laid back camp. It's not quite your laid back camp, but it's a good five volumes, I believe, of pure fun. 
Are these light novels? Are these all light novels? Yeah, they're all light novels. Look at this. Oh my god. Dude, some of these get thick. What the heck? <laughs> no, I can't get any more. I don't have any room on my bookshelf. <laughs> the most manga collector thing <laughs> anyone could ever say. I don't have any more room on my bookshelf. Oh, there's some Tokyo Pop stuff here. Okay, so Michelle got hungry and as you can see behind us, there is a takoyaki place with a really quick, convenient takoyaki window. So we're gonna try some. Let's see. Now, before continuing on to Kinokuniya, we made a quick pit stop in Little Tokyo's newest edition. This is its first official Bandai licensed Gachapon store and I love this place. This was five years in the making and it's all thanks to Tetsu Shioda who wanted to introduce the idea or the concept of Gachapon to the United States nationwide. Everything here is 100% authentic and distributed by Bandai. I'm thinking about taking you guys here on stream. I don't know, it's something I'm thinking about. Enough of this. <laughs> yeah, what's his name? Blizz. Shop hey, Blizz. Blizz. Right? Oh. Okay, so welcome to possibly the biggest Kinokuniya in Southern California. Now, the manga section starts here, as you can see here with the art books and the light novels, and it goes all the way from point A right here all through this. This is all, even over there on those, on those walls, all of these individual ones in this giant wall starting from here. All, all of this, and of course, this is Kinokunya, so they're gonna carry manga in Japanese. I believe this is Call of the Night, actually. It's a very good example. And then all the way to here. And keep going, keep going. All the way to here, ending with these volumes and some art books. I don't know why, but reading this, Gisekai gives me B-movie vibes. <laughs> okay. Hold this. It's so good to see like Yu Yu Hakusho back in stock after all this time. Oh, it feels so good. It is so crazy to see volume 102 out for, for One Piece. It is, it feels good. I collect One Piece through the box sets, but if I bought the singles, like, you know, 100, 101, 102, it just feels, it hits different. Oh man, Dan to Dan's all the way out to volume three already? Oh my God. Ban, nan, ban, nam, ban. Ooh, wow, look at that. Okay, <laughs> all right. Okay, this series is actually pretty good, Touring in the Apocalypse. Yen Press sent me the first one. If you liked uh, Girls Last Tour, you're really gonna like this one. It's a little more of a laid back experience though. They have even more Higurashi here. That's cool. I cannot wait for volume two. So good, I cannot wait for volume two.
there's just so many light novels and I own them all digitally. <sighs> decisions, decisions, decisions. This coffee is so freaking strong. I am, I am, I'm feeling it. So today we are driving, we are in the middle of downtown Los Angeles on our way to Torrance. <laughs> school debut. Wow, that's old. Okay, and welcome to Book Off. Now, remember at the beginning of this video when I mentioned we'd be comparing a new Book Off that recently opened to a older, more established Book Off. Well, now is that time. Look at all of this. They have all of the Soul Eater singles. Well, not all of them, but they have, they have a bunch, that's for sure. The reason why I love Book Off so much is because, like I mentioned earlier on in this video, the unknown treasures that are awaiting every time you go to explore the shop in terms of the manga that the store themselves are purchasing. So the used manga inventory here. This is what made the brand new Book Off in Little Tokyo so exciting because eventually it will get to a point where it's a little more established and it has a lot more inventory of used manga, secondhand manga. That is what I'm really excited for and that is what this location excels in. Now, unlike Anime Jungle or Kinokuniya, here you can actually open up the books and look inside and dare I say even read for just a second. And I like that, especially with coffee, it's just cozy. It's one of the most iconic uh, animes. Really? Yeah, from uh, the 2000s. Yeah, everybody, all if you were otaku, you knew Hari, Othello. I remember Othello. Oh my God, we were here for hours. This is why I love a book off. You can just be here and shop and the vibes are immaculate and the manga shopping is plentiful. We've done a lot in today's vlog. We've gone on four different manga shopping adventures and we've gotten to experience a little taste of Japan here in Los Angeles. If you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for watching. It really does mean the world to me and I hope you enjoyed this adventure. And if you're new around here, consider subscribing. This video and many more are actually brought to you by our members here on YouTube. Thank you so much for all of your support and I would not be able to do this without you. If you wanna get caught up with all of the vlogs here on the channel, of course, I will leave a link down below in the description box and I will also leave a link for my entire manga collection tour. And with that being said, this video has me so excited for when I do eventually go to Japan. So anyways, I'm gonna get out of here. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Bye!